Hey guys and girls, this is Jano again. This is Giant Thorium 0.1. It's the same process. Valkyries first, Elite Riflemans as a beta to take out any un, uh, any units that's not on stand ground. So the only units really in here are two aggressive suicide bombs. As you can see, Elite Riflemans baked them out, and the Valkyries killed them. <coughs> it's that's a pretty simple process. <laughs> The next process is a, a little bit more complicated, and but it's not really that hard to be honest. Um, first, I need to uh, get all my units in position before I do anything like that. But the, the most annoying part of it is the, the when when you deploy the first lot of units and you retreat them, it doesn't seem to go away. So I, I had to re-click on that on that uh, tab to get remove them. Now I'm going to place all my units in the right. Uh, spots so that I can actually target the the watchtower without taking any major damage with my health storms or my hellfires. First things first, I'll position three lots or a few um, hellfires from different uh, locations to start firing at the general direction of the watchtower. That basically just gives me the edge over the stingers and heavy gunners or anything that's AA inside of them bunkers, because that's all that's pretty much AA in this um, in this thorium setup. So as you can see, the the Hellfire missiles are getting through with just one. So I'm going to push one of the Hellfires away because I don't want to kill the walls too quickly because I'm going to really need them to help me out take out the towers itself. As you'll see, I scattered my hellstorms, and uh, they're the ones that can actually be killing the watchtower, not my hellfires. My hellfires are just there for distraction, so you can pretty much do this in either a PvP base as well or a rogue base if you decide to use um, hell hellfires and hellstorms. Anyway, this is the process. Now I'm just going to be targeting several different areas of the walls so that the stingers and the heavy gunners and whatever else that's inside of them will get distracted as my hellstorms get in position and start shooting down at the watchtower. If you look carefully, my hellstorms are pretty much in the range of the towers and my hellfires are all gonna be uh, hitting and trying to keep them distracted by using their missiles. I could have saved myself a lot of damage if I used the rest of my colossals that I had with me by um, baiting the snipers in the north tower and the south tower. But in this case, it didn't really matter because I like it. This is the next step of it. Um, once again, I'll do exactly the same thing on the other side. Uh, place all my hellfires in, in different locations so that I can keep the uh, the stingers in the watchtower occupied and distracted. Um, as you all know, I like to use micro healed units. Uh, I've currently just repaired my hellfires from the event, which have been pretty much micro healed all the way through the event. And, and during the thorium drop of the event as well and now we're on our next thorium drop I've actually managed to catch up with them with the repairs anyway so um, me taking a bit of damage on my hellfires are not really uh, that bad because I can sponge a couple of sniper shots and not be heavily damaged whereas uh, I would normally use colossals as you can see right now I'm going to be baiting the, the first sniper tower at the tower but I should have really once again baited the northern tower and the southern tower which uh, it, to me it didn't really matter and obviously anyone that doesn't want to take a lot of damages or doesn't want to take any damages whilst trying to do this you could easily use colossals to put in front of your hellfires before you start moving I think position but yes this is a pretty awesome sight missiles galore I say once again, the, thori the tower was easily taken out without a problem. So the next step is going to be even better. <clears throat> you don't have to. You don't have to use a spectre for this. You could just uh, bait the uh, rocket barrage with colossals and from one side, and then you could go in from another side with hellstorms and hellfires. But in this case, I am going to be using the Spectre. As you'll see in a minute, I'll be using the Hellfire's missiles and Hellstorm missiles to distract 
any AA units that's left in, in this uh, thorium deposit so that my spectre doesn't take a lot of damage when it's actually uh, directing them. You could do it another way where you could use the, the, um, the targeting system of the, the courser of the um, spectre and just using the outer end of it, but that'll just take you too long and you'll have to keep going around and around and around. And I, like I said, that's too much of a fuss for me. And I prefer it to do it this way where I can just go straight in and take it straight up without problem and without taking a lot of damage either. You just gotta make sure that you spread all your hellstorms and your hellfires apart from each other so that you don't have one bunch of missiles all shooting at the same, at the same time and all at the same uh, path. So that it gives the, um, the stingers a chance to actually have to split apart and have to re keep retargeting the missiles instead of targeting your uh, spectre. Like I said, you can do this with just Hellstorms and Hellfires, but in my case, I use my Spectre purely to speed up the process, and obviously, I don't, I'm not wasting time in uh, the Thorium count. Um, as soon as I found this Thorium, I pretty much took it out in two attacks, as you can already see in here. Or almost two attacks, shall I say. But it's pretty, it was a simple, um, simple attack. Uh, and you can see all the AAs are pretty much taken out with my Hellstorms, Hellfires, Colossals, and Spectre. I had zero problem, as you can all see. It's, it's pretty s smooth sailing from here. That bloody damn shot trooper just caught me there. Damn it. So I'm just going to finish off the rest with just Hellstorms and uh, Spectre because the Hellfires it's, it's pretty pointless for me to keep ending attack and just um, taking it from different angles so that I can get to the Shock Turrets and Behemoths faster. At least this way is just once uh, uh, a few smooth attacks, uh, continuous attacks shall I say. Hopefully you guys have learned, guys and girls have learned something from this and learned how to use your hellstorms and hellfires a little bit better with breaking them apart, uh, targeting different parts of the bases and how to keep your, health, uh, your spectre healthy even though if it's been damaged already or heavily damaged already you can still use it effectively if you've got other stuff of it. Good luck guys and girls, hope you enjoyed my video.